so i friend this is amit and here i am going to provide you the analysis and review regarding the uh, day 5 you can say 24th april 2025 vit examination of uh, that is uh, for vit university so both shift analysis i will provide you so today they have changed the pattern a little bit they have asked the tough question particularly from physics and math math as usual it was uh, difficult that is lengthy and difficult but in uh, physics they have asked more numerical question it was difficult in chemistry also it was a little bit tricky because most question we are from organic but one thing is common they are asking uh, most of the question from class 12 that is the 70 percent or 65 percent question out of 100 so if you go to aptitude and english that was easy that can't be tough because those portion are very easy so now if you go to the subject wise important chapter they have provided you can check the detail about the important chapter also i will try to provide you the information that is if you go to the uh, chemistry then again reduction oxidation type of question chemical equilibrium and uh, chemical bonding goc thermochemistry biomolecules and also from electrochemistry they have asked the question in chemistry if you go to other if you go to other topic that is physics ray optics wave optics semiconductor rotational motion sound waves electrodynamics and also there was question from alternating current and current electricity now if you go to the mathematics part then integration differential equation function probability vector calculus and this are uh, and uh, probability sequence series uh, permutation combination and mastery determinant from this chapter they have asked maximum question so this is the uh, important chapter list for its uh, subject I have discussed and difficulty level for uh, today was moderate or difficult in context of VIT examination if you compare it with JE obviously it is easy but if you compare it all day today uh, shift was you can say a difficult shift and both shift came a little bit harder than yesterday so what will be the expected safe score for this shift let me inform you about that before that I will inform you about the complete counseling guidance as i am providing from six seven year if you want after this exam you can contact me for complete counseling guidance process so that you can get the best out of your rank best category best uh, campus and best branch so kindly check the next section here i am going to provide you the information about my vit complete counseling guidance one to one i will be guiding you as i am the only person who is considering this exam that is covering this exam from last six seven year so one to one guidance will be provided on uh, choice filling dedicated session i will be taking with you one to one and uh, every student uh, potential is different every student's expectation is different uh, rank is different so there should be a different uh, choice filling for every student there can't be a same choice filling as also there is phase wise counseling and there is a category wise you need to fill the branches so it takes lots of uh, time and it takes lots of expertise to do this counseling so it is a unique type of counseling there is lots of risk if you do better counseling you may get better category to save your parents money if you do uh, um, a mistake you may get wrong branch or wrong campus or you can get higher category you will have to pay one or two lakh per year extra so these all thing will be avoided and i will guide you in a best manner to that so that you can get into the best possible branch and campus with best category to save your parents money side by you can take all the review of the student that i have guided from last year thank you so hope you have got my uh, information about the guidance now i will provide you the important information that is minimum 105 or 107 marks is required to get category one with uh, with the csa branch in valor if you want the csa specialization and 100 also you will get category one if you want category two 95 and 90 marks is required for csa and csa specialization respectively so, uh, similarly if you go to chennai then uh, 95 98 will give you the category one in Chennai and 90 or 85 marks will give you category 2 CSC 10 marks if you deduct CSC specialization you will get so like this and if you go to Amravati then uh, only 70 or 65 marks is required for category 1 Bhopal 45 to 50 marks so this was the complete information regarding the uh, analysis and review and safe us for regarding the 4th um, 24th April uh, both safe exams that is day 5 you can say for VIT exams in 2025